Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 43 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. We're asked which of the following expressions is equal to 51. And we have a bunch of expressions like 6 plus brackets 18 divided by 3 minus 1 times 5. And we need to check each one of them to find one that's equal to 51. So the first step to doing any problems is to know the theory behind it. And here the theory is simply bed mass. And notice that the way I write it, I put the D and the M on the same level. So that means that the, uh, this is division and multiplications. And then this is addition and subtraction. This is exponent. And then this is brackets. And that means that we start always by doing the brackets, then we focus on the exponent, then we focus on division or multiplication. And then these two, it's you, you read from left to right. So that's what we're doing here. We're going from left to right. And so if we look at the first example, we can move on to step two, but I would encourage you to try this by yourself. So try to go through A, B, C, D and do all of them together. And you have the answers here, so you can always check yourself, but I would encourage you to not just watch the video, but try them first and then compare with the video if you're confused or if you make mistakes. So what we have here is six plus brackets, 18 minus three uh, divided by three minus one times five. So 18 divided by three, we start with the B level because it's in brackets. But here, maybe it wouldn't even make a difference because the first level is subtraction from left to uh, division from left to right anyways. But the brackets are there, so let's focus on that. This would give us six plus 18 divided by three is six minus one times five. Now we uh, skim through this, we have a bracket still but there's nothing inside the bracket, so we can kind of ignore it. We could drop the brackets entirely. Then we have six plus six minus one times five. So we move on to the multiplication left to right, and that's the one times five. So we have six plus six minus one times five, that's five. So then we have addition and subtraction, that's the next level. So it'd be 12, so we go from left to right, so that'd be 12 minus five, and 12 minus five is seven. So we know it is not a, because it's not equal to 51. So I'll write not equal to 51. So we can move on to B and we have six plus 18 divided by brackets three minus one times five. So here notice that we have other divisions and multiplication. So we need to do the brackets here first. We have six plus 18 divided by three minus one, that's two times five. Now we have two division or one division and one multiplication. So we do the one from left to right first. So we have 18 divided by two. So it's six plus 18 divided by two, that's nine. And then it's just a times five. And now we have it in the, an addition and a multiplication. So we do the multiplication first. Nine times five is 45. So we have six plus 45, that's equal to 51. So that's equal to 51, we get a check mark and we can conclude that it's this one. And if we go to our step three right away, if you're interested in how to do this thing, you can check out the Desmos link and that way you'll, you'll be able to see it all on the actual Desmos and not as a screenshot. But we can see that this is the one that's 51, so it confirms our intuition. We'll do step two and step three at the same time here. And we have six and it's always a good idea to do C and D even though you found the answer because sometimes you make a mistake. You'll get two 51s and then you realize like, ah, I forgot the plus one here or whatever it is. So then we move on to C. We have six plus 18 in brackets divided by three minus one times five. So again, we do the brackets first. That's six plus 18, that's 24 divided by three minus one times five. So we can do the 24 divided by three, because that's from left to right. So that's eight minus one times five. Now we have a subtraction and a multiplication. So we automatically do the multiplication 
So that's eight minus one times five is five. Eight minus three is, uh, eight minus five is three. So we can tell it is not this one. Lastly, we move on to D. We have, we don't have brackets. So we move on to exponents. We don't have exponents. We, we move on to division multiplication from left to right. So we do the 18 divided by three first here. We have six plus 18 divided by three is six minus one time uh, one times five. And then that's, we have a multiplication again. So that's six plus six, uh, six times, no, it, it is a plus, minus one times five, so minus five. That's 12 minus five, which is seven as well. 12 minus five, which is seven. And note that the uh, A, A and D are both seven. And when we look, it's what I said earlier, is that we can drop the brackets in entirely because the division is the first thing we would do anyways. So that's why those are equivalent expressions here. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it helped and clarified some concepts. The best way to support the channel is to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, that's good for the YouTube algorithm, share the, the video with your friends. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next and last video of Do The Work.